I welcome you all and greetings to all of you those who are listening to this pay intense attention to it please this is just a spiritual exhortation and it can be a warning as well and this is from the gospel of john chapter 543 jesus words from the mouth of jesus christ who is the only god visible to the entire mankind he has come beyond into this world and he lived for 33 years and he went back to his place he is sitting at the right hand of the god father in the heavenly court the session is continuous for you and me he is giving this exhortation i have come in my father's name and you do not receive me if another one comes in his own name him you will receive and this actually was spoken to jewish leaders or religious leaders because for everything those guys were asking for signs if you are the son of god and if you are the one whom you claim to be show the sign as to who you are if you are the son of god let us know it is not a spirituality of the leaders to ask for a sign sign is already there in for example if you take nicodemus he is dr nicodemus i used to call him blind nicodemus blind leading the blind who came to jesus rabbi but he counted him one among them he did not exactly understood as to who he is he is supposed to tell his own people as a leader of the community he is one of the sanhedrin member he failed to do that jesus give them warning see the coming of antichrist that means this 2000 years from his first advent the bible says these are the last days all the entire 2000 years or the last days not day last days so you have to give uh, due consideration for this from the book of uh, hebrew if you read the first two words you will know his first advent kick started the last days so we are born in the last day that means the present generation is otherwise called fig tree generation and the nation jewish nation other than israel country has been formed again at the center of the world and that uh, gives us a warning that these are the end time into which we have come so care should be taken about what he has to, uh, jesus christ has told us you see i came in my father's name in the name of yehova yahweh but you rejected me but because he came in a humble way and when he humbled himself which is called the kenosis in the book of uh, philippians philippian you will see from the second chapter he humbled himself to the level of a slave to die on the cross for you and me so but israel they were expecting a political freedom not a spiritual freedom so they wanted to come out of the roman government roman bondage and so they were expecting a messiah with a powerful or a mighty man to free them from the roman clutches but jesus is not so he is for all the entire mankind to set them free from their sin that no one can do even if the messiah come beside christ jesus that is that would be antichrist antichrist will deceive the entire world not only jewish people of course he would appear there and he finally encounter would be jewish people on the temple which they already commenced that is the third temple which is irrelevant for us so he will come and reveal himself as the messiah the christ 
whom they were anticipating because you know how there there is a theory which may come into existence the fellow would say see christ came and he did whatever uh, he could do and he left christ he will say christ is an office in that office jesus came he finished his duty and he went back and now i have come again so these guys would accept him and he will try to be the global leader trying to unite the world so prior to him or at the same time of his arising the rapture could happen which could be at any time you see that temple they laid foundations and started construction if you are closely watching that one so the messiah is long awaited now and they can receive the messiah may reveal himself and they will he will come on his own name and they will receive him that's what jesus says very clearly told in this particular verse if another comes in his own name him you will receive see even you just give attention to it even the apostles from the peter with all the 12 and the rest of the disciples even before jesus was taken up into heaven they were asking lord at this time are you going to give us this country are you going to set us free they were mindful of being freed from the romans bondage a political freedom and a sort of religious or freedom so that their land will be set free and they can be free from the bondage from romans romans ruling so that is what they were anticipating they were not considering the gentile world gentile world because they consider even the samaritans and all the others as dogs and they are the supreme they are the gods chosen no it is not that way god has chosen the entire mankind in his son jesus christ alone he only is the true messiah they did everything what they supposed to do to him and he comes and the his second coming would be in two phases the first phase will be rapture and then after 7 years his return directly to the earth to establish his millennial kingdom for 1000 year of ruling blessed are you if you receive jesus christ now and give your life to him before the antichrist is come antichrist comes and take over the entire world now everything is now coming up you see one world currency one world religion one world order the signs are around we are able to see in your daily news i don't know whether you are following it or not but churches must start teaching all these to the people and cause them uh, to be aware of the fact that we are at the end last time and we are at the end days so be very careful receive jesus christ the time left over is little because the gentiles fulfillment is something spoken in romans by paul paul the apostle is speaking about gentiles fulfillment that also will come to fulfill so once that come the rapture could be at any time so prepare yourself receive jesus christ give your life to the lord whatever time you have left it could be waste outside of him please give your life to jesus christ receive him as your only lord and savior jesus christ have your sin and your transgression forgiven in him because it stands forgiven only in jesus christ don't waste your time this is my humble exhortation be blessed in jesus christ amen